You don't want to be in a mobile home. We have two tornadoes. We have two tornadoes. Mike, we've got a parent. Look at the big area here of, of tornado here. It just On May 6, 2015, there was a tornado outbreak over central Oklahoma. There were 16 tornadoes in total, ranging from an EF0 up to an EF3. My chase partner and I decided to go chase that day, and we encountered the EF3 Bridge Creek tornado. This was only my second year chasing and my chase partner's second chase ever. We really had no clue what we were about to yeah, experience. We had, no clue. <laughs> we had a very close encounter with this tornado and we wanted to share that story with you. Oh, hey guys. See you in there. What's up, I'm Edgar the Storm Chaser, and this is my chasing partner, Jed. Today we're gonna to be breaking down the May 6, 2015 EF3 tornado in Bridge Creek. Me and Jed were actually chasing that day. And so, yeah, we figured we'd do a little breakdown and walk y'all through what we were thinking and what we were seeing. So yeah, let's get right into that video. Yeah, so when we were starting out this day, I do remember uh, we were in Amber, Oklahoma. That's where this video first picks up. Um, there were some other chasers and emergency vehicles here. Uh, we were just kind of waiting behind them. Um, we hadn't seen a tornado yet, but as you can see, you can see the big low hanging wall cloud um, out in front of us. And at this point in the storm chase, I mean, we're really just like, no adrenaline's pumping, yeah. maybe a little bit, because we're like, okay, there could be a tornado. But now I'm starting to see multiple lowerings there. Um, I probably inside was freaking out. I had no clue where we were getting into that day. Yep. There we go. I noticed the funnel. You see, I noticed the funnel. Boom. The emergency vehicle sees it and takes off. Yep. Oh, yeah. You can see the funnel is kind of right behind that, uh, the, uh, the, the telephone pole there. So now we're heading, right now we're facing east. So we're heading east out of Amber. Tornadoes on the ground at this point. Yeah, quite wild. Um, for those of y'all don't know, this was an EF3 tornado, multiple vortex. That means that the whole wall cloud was spinning and it actually was around a half mile wide um, at its biggest point. And then you had like multiple satellite tornadoes coming down on the edge. So the whole thing spinning with all these satellites coming down. And the reason there's no audio here, this is an old video. This was back before we were doing anything on social yeah. media yeah. or anything like that. You know, we were basically just out there uh, getting our um, our wits about us and chasing. And this was only my set. This was my second year storm chasing. Um, so yeah, um, when I sped it up back then, when I edited the video, that's why there's no sound here because it made this really screechy, screeching noise. I wasn't as quite um, as good at editing video and that kind of stuff. Oh this yeah, guy, this guy. Throws, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember this. This he, guy pulls over on the side out. of the road. He freaks out to turn around. Look. <laughs> oh man, we couldn't see anything. I, I used a few choice words there. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it was like really, dude. Like he was freaking out. He was freaking out. He was He's out. like in a four-wheel drive truck Wait, with that light bar. He's Where? out. He's out. We're in my Nissan Sentra. Uh, yeah. <laughs> four cylinder and we're like one of the few people going towards the storm at this point yeah there's there's the emergency what? vehicles these <laughs> Were you trying to block the road i don't know no this guy uh, this that truck was wanting to turn around but then i was there um because they're all like uh we're not going any closer to this tornado because there's a random car probably trying to go home oklahomans yeah. they're used to tornadoes they're like ah get out of my way let me get in my house um yeah, so right now we're just waiting on this guy to get out of the way. I'm like, what are you I doing, see bro? The rotation on that thing too. Um, and then there's the, yeah, the whole thing is spinning there. You can see the the green hail core up there, and the top of. I mean, we're right on the edge of it. Um, so now we want to move a little bit further ahead. As you can see, all the emergency vehicles are getting ready. So basically, for those of y'all don't know, when you're out storm chasing, these emergency vehicles are basically setting up right outside of the storm so as soon as the storm goes they can go help any people that need um help so it's pretty neat you as um storm chasers you're always working side by side with first responders out there um you know right now i'm just trying to figure out what i'm going to do i believe i was looking at radar we don't have sound so that i can look and see um or i can't i can't hear what's going on at this point but i know that i'm looking at my radar trying to figure out okay 
do I have a backup escape route yeah. to get out of this? As And as you'll see, uh, that becomes very important later because yeah, yeah. we didn't. Because um, we're about to get really close here. Um, what I'm trying to get to is what they call the, the inflow notch. Um, so that's basically a, a area of the storm that is usually just to the southeast of right moving storms. And it's a really great place because you don't have all this rain. Um, it actually becomes relatively calm for a second. Um, when we get to it, you'll be able to see. Right now, now there's other trucks like getting out of my way. And I'm like, yo, I'm a storm chaser. You gotta get out of my way. <laughs> I'm trying to what's get- What's this guy? Oh, what's that? That person's <laughs> hauling tail. Yeah. They're like, well, I don't wanna be here. You can see the wind really picking up here to the right. Um, like I said, we're right on the outside of the bands of this thing right now. Um, yeah, super crazy looking right here. We were so terrible at this dash cam placement too. I don't know why I placed it right there. Like, it's like half dash cam. You live and you learn. My new videos will be much better. Yeah. But we just thought it would be fun to react to this one. So now I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go around this guy here. Um, I'm ready to dirt get road or just paved? This it's right here is paved, paved at this point. Paved road, yeah. um, I think when it switches over up here um, is when we'll end up going to um, a dirt road. So right now, this is all sped up video, by the way, guys. I'm not speeding this fast. Uh, <laughs> but the wind is pretty crazy at this point. Tell you what, Rain X has gotten a lot better um, from now. I, I, won't ha I don't have all these windshield wipers going when I chase. <laughs> I made sure my, my windows are nice and covered in, the, in Rain X. So this guy, oh man, our, this sometimes, chaser convergence can be super frustrating sometimes when you're chasing. Yeah. And people don't realize, being a chaser jam. finally I'm done. I'm like, I'm getting around all these people because they're stopping here. This is some more of the um, actual um, first responders. I go over here to try to go around and cut around to get to, uh, I end up actually, I turn around and go here. I don't even remember. I think I end up just turning back left to where I came from. Yeah, I did. I did. I was seeing if there was another way out or another way around everyone. As you can see, like the wind's really, really kicking here. I mean, I don't have um, anything to measure the wind in my car at this point in time. Um, but I'm just like, uh, guys, everyone. As you can see, the traffic's a little chaotic too. Well, yeah, because all these people are trying to get out of the way. Cause, I mean, like, I'll, we're literally right on the edge of this tornado here. I mean, like literally, we are, we're literally trying to maneuver. Basically, you have to keep work. You know, roads are gridded, and so storms don't move to the right. This thing's moving um, northeast um, at the time. And so, like, we're trying to go... Right now, we're going north, and then we're going to cut back um, east again. So, basically, you just keep going north, east, northeast, trying to stay up with the storm. Um, but right now, I'm just trying to get around these people. Because um, back then, I didn't have um, all-wheel drive. This is not the Subaru. This is just a four-cylinder four Nissan Sentra that I completely burned the transmission out of um, while well, chasing. Okay. Yeah, we got it stuck a few times. No, yeah, we tripped that. Yeah. All right, here's... This cuts back. So this is where we're now we're heading back. We're heading back towards um, circulation again. Now we're heading back east. We, we are probably about three or four miles east of Amber at this point, maybe a little bit north. Getting relatively close to um, the turnpike. And there's a few more first responders here that we're gonna go around. Oh, you can hear the hail now. So now we're getting oh, yeah. closer to the action. You can get the hail, and you'll see in a second, wind's kicking here. Um, if you notice uh, right now, the wind is actually blowing from left to right on the screen. Um, so it's kind of like an outflow wind. Um, you'll see it again, there's like a flagpole that comes up here yeah. in someone's house. At this point, we have passed all the first responders, so we're like kind of on our own out here, it seems like. Yeah, this is, there's another chaser I think we see, but this is pretty much only chaser. I, I would say the hail at this point wasn't terribly big. You know, marble sized hail. Nope, oh, that's where you saw the rope tornado off okay. to the left. Sorry guys, we weren't that great with the camera back then. It was mounted. Um, basically, what we saw in the rope tornado was one of the satellite tornadoes going around the whole circulation. Here's some more people. Yeah. All right. All right. You're going to stop. You're going to see us get into the inflow in a second here. And you can tell because the wind will switch directions as well. You'll start seeing the trees going into the, the blowing wind into the storm. And the rain will stop. There we go. Yeah. See? It sounds really safe where we're at. But just so you know, like this is definitely the place yeah. where you have to be the most concerned about not getting hit by a tornado. And also, these types of tornadoes don't look like the typical ones, right? They don't look like the real pretty tornadoes that you can see coming down. This was a very large 
wedge tornado. Basically what happened is the whole mesocyclone of the wall cloud ends up going down. And then there's um, all these satellite tornadoes on the outer edge. But the whole thing itself is a tornado. Right now we had we really had no clue what we were about to yeah, experience. Yeah, we had no clue. <laughs> uh, I know I didn't. <laughs> well, I didn't either. It was only my second year chasing. How much more wear now? You can see the green up there. You're getting a really good picture of the hail core. And a second here, we'll turn it in. Up oh, right there. That was the flag. Hold on, I'm gonna stop it here. That was the flag. If you look there, let's go back. You can see the flag. We're st it's still actually not in flow right now. So the yeah, the wind's going over here. But as you see, once we get a little bit closer. Uh, you'll start seeing the wind. Once we go past this truck, I believe, you'll start seeing all of the um, trees. trees start moving into the storm instead. But man, what a beautiful sky there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Jed grabs the camera. Um. Yeah, you're saying all the curse words I was words getting there. excited. I was getting a little excited on that one. Yeah, so crazy hail. So what you're looking at here... Hold on. I'm going to stop this and go by. So what you're looking at here is the whole uh, tornado. Um, basically from over here in this area, all the way to over here, this whole area down here is circulating. And you can see these satellite funnels um, over here. And then I believe there's one behind our video there. Um, but yeah, let's go back and play it back so you can see that. I just love the sky here just because it's just such a typical tornado sky, right? You can see all the funnels there of the satellites going around. At this point, I'm starting to realize that we might be in a bit of danger. Um, even though the storm is supposed to be going, you know, we're just going east and the storm is supposed to be going northeast, it grew into the road that we're in. You can see that satellite funnel over there in the very bottom left of the screen. Now, is it heading towards us or is it no, cutting right across the corner? It's heading away from us at this point, but okay. it's growing into the road that we're in. And okay. that's where the issue happened for us. Um, you can see up there, you can see the satellites. It's really hard to see in that. So they're all rain wrapped. This is a super rain wrap uh, thing. I don't do that anymore. You don't ever film with your cell phone. There's a tornado there, like, on the ground. Stopping, basically. You yeah. can see debris. The cameras are so much worse back then. So yeah, Ooh, you can really hear it right there. Ugh. It's kind of eerie, honestly. In the second here, we get hit by a lot of wind. Like you see how far. That's freaking yeah, this is my favorite part. <laughs> this is this is this is Jed. It was was this like your first or second chase ever? It was like my second chase ever with you. Yeah, yeah like he saw that we got in it, and he was like, "Dude, the camera just went out of his hand," and he's like, "Just filming the ground." Um, we're much better at that now, but I still think this is hilarious. Um, go back. Oh, that's the best. He was like, is, the, is this car, is our car getting blown around? I was like, yeah, it definitely is. And he's like trying to get the window. So just to let you know, in this Sentra, we didn't have automatic windows. It was like, the, you know, the roll kind. So he was just hitting the door locks on and off. He was like, the window won't go up. You gotta listen to this. It's actually kind of funny. Right. Kicking this window up. I can't get this window up. We're not. I'm turning the car around here. We're, we're reversing course at this point. I'm getting pelted with rain at this point. This window's not going up. It's a lovely view yeah, um, my, of, of my leg. Of Jed's knee yeah. and the laptop we were using for uh, radar. Dude, guys, kill it. Car almost, our car almost got blown around. Almost, it did. Did you feel it? Yeah! <laughs> Hey, what are you doing with that camera? You're just like pointing at my head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, man, that was like one of my favorite things because we're just like, I was like, what are you doing with that camera afterwards? I mean, your adrenaline's pumping. I turn around and Jed's, and he wasn't like trying to record my face. I was trying our, to record the storm like behind him, but it. Our, when your adrenaline's going, when yeah. you first start chasing, it's a little bit different. I mean, our composure's a lot better now. Uh, but that was fun. That, that footage actually, um, was was um, played for a uh, weather nation in Canada actually a, a weather producer hit me up after I posted this on our old YouTube page huh. um, and yeah they showed this footage as a part of a documentary on this particular day because um, there were several tornadoes this day this wasn't the only tornado that um, happened on May 6 2015 there were quite a few um, but this one was one of the bigger ones it was an EF3 about a half mile wide 
um, had a really crazy long storm path. Um, I forget how long it was on the ground. I think about 10 miles um, is how long this stayed. I mean, I know now we have like the tri-state tornado that stayed on the ground for four states, but still, a tornado that stays on the ground for 10 miles, especially that is, you know, a, you know, EF3 um, is pretty significant. But yeah, so hopefully we get into more stuff like this when we chase this year. Um, yeah, Jed chases a lot with me every chance he gets. So yeah, we look forward to showing y'all more videos. And um, until next time, man, we'll see you in hail.